sound that's that the typical fights <laughs> Yeah, sorry, Binary Express. It's always the same if I live stream on YouTube that everything goes downwards. <laughs> hey, Underlord. So, anyway, um, where have we been? So, the resolution should be now in 10K, hopefully. So, let's try that. <laughs> cool. Um, besides of that, I was right now explaining what we want to do today. So, my type is, or what I want to do is, I want to try this uh, Flatium testing framework. And there are some ideas what you can do with descriptions and inputs and all you can do is putting that stuff into your YAML files and execute it with your um, CLI. Yeah, I mean, are you happy now? Can you read everything? So, and the idea is that you can execute these tests now. And the music is a bit too loud now, so something like that. And turning that a bit lower. Ah, much better. So. And then you can just execute these YAML files and receive some cool outputs. And at the moment, supported platforms are Android, iOS, and macOS, which makes it a bit unlucky because I'm on Windows, so we will have to run an emulator. Let's hope that my computer don't crash with an emulator running. Um, we can try web too, because it's a question mark, could work, more or less. And other testing frameworks, yeah, Petrol is one that I hear today, and Honey. Honey is from ClickUp? Interesting. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So, um, both are also testing frameworks. But I want today take a look into Flatium first. Maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, we can have a look into the other two. Tomorrow, I'm invited to a podcast, to a German one. I'm really excited to see what happens there. <laughs> okay, so what we could do is we could use our already existing um, Flutter testing tutorial that I once created where I have already an app running, I guess. So what I would like to see is now um, the emulator. And the question is if we can open up a terminal, that should be possible. So, and if we can run the IDB. Uh, now I'm not into the commands, so let's end, uh, open up quickly Android Studio to just get the Android running because it seems like IntelliJ don't knows about it. Maybe we can also do, because it's a Flutter project, we could maybe also just use uh, Android Studio to work on instead of the IntelliJ. Hey, peace, long time no see, hope you are fine. I can't, I can't upgrade to 11 actually. And that's very sad because uh, my, int uh, my, my uh, CPU is too weak. <laughs> I'm still on like a uh, 6, 6K, I think, and uh, it's not supported by Windows 11, unfortunately. So I needed to ask for a laptop somewhere so that I can work with Windows 11 at least once because I had that Windows 11 installation video, if you know. And yeah, so that are real problems. <laughs> so what's going on here? Frameworks detected, beautiful. So let's run this a Pixel 4 Android. Let's see if we come there. And then I think I have to clean up a little bit here the Android Studio. That's too cluttery. <laughs> the problem is she her birthday is next, so that's the problem. <laughs> but it's a very good idea to ask her for a gift. I think she will be very happy. Hey, peace. Yeah, no worries, peace. Mohammed, hey. Ah, beautiful. <clears throat> so what's going on here is now an emulator up ah here we are still in the game dev so i can close that project and i would say we make a new project or i think that would be a fun thing to do here actually so let's create a new flutter project and click a little bit around um so let's call that um yeah how can we call that um ui testing frameworks so that's dot dev flutter explained and the project is about ui testing frameworks 
Uh, oof. <laughs> to create a turn server shouldn't be too difficult. There are quite some packages for that. But it's a really a mess to really understand what you are doing at the end. So actually, I think you are able to do that with Windows. Um, there should be some GitHub packages that allows that. Um, but yeah, don't tell, uh, ask me how I did it with Firebase out of a reason because I don't have to take too much time on that. Yeah, the whole, uh, let's say the whole WebRTC topic, I have to go dig deep dive again to really understand what I have done there. It was really complicated. It was one of my hardest videos actually that I ever done, I guess. View, let's remove some views. So for example, we don't need the, where is it? Appearance. Uh, the main menu, we don't need that. Uh, tuck, can be gone. And I think we can have the navigation bar. Uh, I think we need that one, at least for now to get started. Ah, yes, I was asked uh, actually if I want to be a speaker on the Flutter India Conf and I was really, really hesitated to start there. And yeah, so I was not able to join there yet because of the pricing. I have to fly there and the flight is yeah, extraordinary at the moment. So I was, uh, or I needed to decide against for it now, at least for now. Let's update some packages. So sorry, Minu, at the moment, no Flutter India for me, but maybe next year. <laughs> I say that too often, I guess. But I have great talks prepared. Uh, there are two new, um, uh, one um, Flutter Heroes is the name in Italy, I guess, where I want to join. And yeah, I, I would love to t make talks again. And there are some good news on the way. I'm currently talking with my, uh, yeah, I don't know how public I can do that at the moment, but yeah, there will be some interesting topics for 2023 and Flutter Explained. So if you are uh, or if you are not yet, uh, down in the video description, you find a link to the community. And there I will post something very long, maybe in the next few days, hopefully. I gave a talk to the pre-event. You did? Can you share it? I didn't see it. I have to admit it's very difficult to keep up with all the cool events that are happening at the moment. And I'm a bit stupid. Why do I update into Android Studio during a live stream? I hope you have some time to talk with me. <laughs> Let me quickly switch. I have a cool new package and I think I can do this. It's very vintage. Oh, and there is everything broken. Great. Max top best stuff ever done. So what can I do here actually? So the webcam should be here. Uh huh. Let's move that up there. Something like that, move it here. And actually, I think the chat should be on the left side, isn't it? So let's see, boop, boop, boop. Do I get the chat somehow? Boop, 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 boop. Credits, no chat highlights, spin wall tracker. Mm -hmm. Ah, you know me, my live streams always a joy. Huh, funny, where are they? I thought, member goal, emote. Chat highlight, chat box. There we go. Zack, zack, zack. Adding and put that here. Ah, there you have the link. Cool. So. Website aufrufen. Let's see what menu send us. And I would like to take the screen capture. Yep. So. Good. So worked on it. Sorry for that. So if we check now the link that Minus sent, there should be a tweet of FlutterCon. And in the meantime, IntelliJ can set up everything behind. I really tried to switch off to Vim at the moment. So sorry if you are interested in that. That will take some time. Delivery on talk on how to create Flutter for sec. I think I heard my... Um, at Flutter Inf uh, India Conf, there was a very interesting uh, topic and someone asked me if he can take my integration test uh, 
slides from SlideShare and uh, he was very happy that I could help him. So he was using them, I think, to, to share some knowledge. Hey, that looks so cool. Look at his chairs, jeez. Good old Minu. <laughs> hey from Iran. Salam, Chitori Obi. So, so plugins updated, getting away, or doing that away. No updates anymore. Oh, there is something with Flutter. Nah, okay. That's the Google office. Yeah, I know. A friend of mine is now joining Google in Munich. Um, hi there. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, it seems that he is very busy. So he will have that now every day, I guess. <laughs> so updating. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I think if it's going on with that, I think it's buffering, right? Uh, okay. Add configuration. Unknown. What the heck? I believe the update was not the best idea I had today. Let's quickly check if Flutter is still set up. Yeah, 